What's up, degenerates? What a day, what a day. Crushing again. Hope you were all on and uh, really enjoyed it. So kicked it off with Bridge Native, each way selection, finishing third. So really, really happy with that. Good price as well. So a nice bit of profit on the place. And then what about Heights of Arabon? As we advised last night and always check the description, the best 888 were given 11 to 2 so that's one thing just to remember moving forward we will put the best prices available in the description below so always make sure and check for that because that's what it's about it's not about finding the winners it's about finding the winners at the right price because if you don't find the winners at the right price you will lose all day in the long run so always remember that it's so important that we get the best price on these horses and he finished up i think five to two and absolutely robbed home and then we had magna glory what a shout this was i just really liked the profile of the horse smashed into i think 100 to 30 or 7 to 2 favorite and as big as 11 and 12 to 1 when we advised it uh, last night so really really happy and just ran away with the race and 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 that was it what a what a day so really really good uh, making money in the tree selection so really really proud of that and uh, yeah look it's always great to get the winners and uh, yeah just appreciative the nice prices so look like i said to you before stay true to us stay loyal we're like <laughs> we're just stay loyal we're crushing all the time you know what I mean? We might have one odd bad day once every fucking decade. Right, stay with us and let's hope we can just keep finding horses that are value because that's what I want to do for this community. And uh, yeah, keep us in profit. Right, let's touch on tomorrow. Monday. A new week starts, but what a way to finish out that week, actually. Let's just have a quick little recap. Honestly... I tipped that many winners, honestly, offhand, I can't remember how many winners there was. There was a load of winners. There was, there was, there was that many. Anyway, the ones that mattered, red glory, really, really strong word for that. And uh, really gave him to you as strong as I could. And he won at 9-2. to two. Massive, massive result. And then we had uh, the double up was another great day. The, the jumbi was another great winner. Uh, well, today, 11-1. to one. 11 to 2, uh, the place, or I can't even go through them all, there's that many winners, it's, it's nuts, like it is nuts, all the time, just massive, massive, since we started this, it's just winner after winner, pounding and pounding and pounding and pounding the bookies, and uh, yeah, that's it, and then there was Wow Jam the other day that won uh, as well, and what else was, with? Oh, Sarah's Dream, 6 to 1, all these, I have that many winners, I can't fucking remember them. All right, degenerates, let's move on to tomorrow, and we don't ease off, you know, we have the bookies where we want them, we're a mile clear and profit over since I started this journey, you know, you the, the, the ones who were there from the very beginning was, I think I done the first two or three tipping, I done Dundalk and Fairy House on Facebook, and then I trans third to youtube and it has just been like something to be proud of and i hope this community stay stays around and we really really uh you know cause a little bit of hurt to the bookies you know we'll never finish them but cause a small bit of hurt with a bit of luck and uh yeah get some good odds some good prices and some good winners and just listen it's all about finding horses that have upside and then are the right price. There's no point knowing a horse is going to win a race and he's one to two favourite. That's no good to us. We want to know a horse has a chance when he's six to one, eight to one, five to one, twelve to one. That's what that's what we like. So so that's it. It all boils down to maths. And uh, I often leave horses alone. I know they'll win, but I know they're the wrong price. And they'll go and win at even money. And I'm not worried about that because that's not what I want. I want to back horses that you know if a horse has a 50 percent chance of winning a race I, I want them to be two to one at least or five to two i don't want them to be even money or, or four to seven you know we we're away from that you know i don't want that if a horse is going to win a race one out of ten times i want to have them a 25 to one not seven to one right that's the kind of play the ways we're going to play it so stay tuned stay focused the time for cotton is over right let's move on to tomorrow and let's hope for another good day.
here at Cold Bear Sports. And don't forget, coldbearsports.com. Coming to you soon. Right. The 155 tomorrow. Well, we, we tipped her up a 5 to 2. Yes, the last day she disappointed, but by Jesus, we're not going to let her go when she's 14 to 1 tomorrow. So, Solar Bear, you know Solar Bear, yes, I, Solar Bay or so, Cellular Bay, however you want to pronounce her, the Easterby trained in the 155 at Red Car. She's 14 to 1, and this is the day I want to be with her. So, it's a 1.5 each way selection. So, 1.5 points each way selection. So, really, really good price, 14 to 1. Yeah, I'm going to forgive her her last run. Yes, she's quirky. Yes, she wears the eye shield. But this daughter of Ifraj, we have not seen the best of her yet. Whether she shows that tomorrow, it's a trappy Phillies handicap. The trainer has another runner in the race, but I can't desert this one. Solar Bay, she's 14 to 1. And this is the day I want to be with her. I know she's a little bit ahead of the handicapper. Yeah, she might be quirky and she might not show it. But... Uh, like 14 to 1 I'm all over it this has a big each way chance if she gives her true running yes she is a little quirky but I'm not going to take uh, like 14 to 1 this is where we are this horse has a chance alright trappy race she has a chance 1.5 each way selection so moving on then so it's a bit later in the day so we're going to head to Windsor in the 520 this is an interesting runner Marsden Cross, David Probert in the saddle. Uh, the pedigree being by Camelot is stepping up and trip. I like it. The trainer's doing well. Um, shop around and see what the best price is. I'll get the lads to put it up in the chat. I've seen a couple of prices around 5 to 1 and that. So I'll just have a look around there. Uh, each way, the favourite seems solid enough in the race, but that's 7 to 4, 15 to 8. I'm prepared to give it a chance. Do you know what? Rather than backing it for a win, I... I <laughs> I'd like a straight place bet. If you could get a straight place bet at around five to four, I like that. I just I think this is look each way. I suppose to get your money back. You decide that. But look, I, I give a one point each way or a two point win straight place bet. You make up your mind. Then I'm going to move on to the six twenty. Okay, this horse, the Daily Express, like it's good to soft. He doesn't mind the cutting the ground. He probably like it a bit softer. And I'm going to give him. And just look, the trainer's doing well. James Doyle in the saddle. I'm going to give him a one point win. His draw could be tricky enough. I think he's eight over five furlongs. But he has enough going from. He's nicely handicapped. He's okayly handicapped. He's around his last winning mark. He'll handle the dig. I'll give him a one point tentative selection. And then I'll move on to the 720. Jay and Chapel Hine, Ryan Moore in Windsor tomorrow. Now, I normally don't like shorties, but this horse for me ran rock solid on Friday. It's Monday. They had it, you know, two days. Three days, I think, is okay. Two days, I'm not too sure about. But I like to see a horse get at least three days between the run. Uh, but over six furlongs, it ten sprinters can, can turn around pretty quick. So I think Jane Chapelhine, Aplom is my bet of the day tomorrow. Ryan Moore, 13 to 8. And I think it brings good recent form and should be very, very hard to beat. Um, look, I hope you took notice as well. I took you off Jeannie Baptiste today. And uh, yeah, look, she was 15 to 8. I don't know if they're watching my videos or not, but I said I wouldn't back her. And next thing she she goes off 3 to 1. So I don't know, but I hope you took notice Uh and, and, and that's it listen stay following like and subscribe make sure and like the videos guys i'm getting 1500 views on some of them and only 50 likes come on you have to keep this community going smash that like button it helps out the channel it helps me come on here and give you 11 to 1 winners on the, the regular 20 to 1s 22 to 1s 6 to 1s 8 to 1s we do it all double them up we do it the cotton is over meet me back here tomorrow evening i'm hoping there's one running tuesday my tracker alerted me it was entered i'm not sure if it's declared hopefully it will be if it is declared it's in nottingham if not don't worry we'll get to it soon whenever it runs again but anyway hopefully i'll have something good for you this week as always mad murrigan we're out of here. The cotton is over.